So this morning we're going to be posing newborns with their siblings. We're going to start with younger siblings and I'm going to take you through the steps that I like to do when I'm, when I'm working with, with young children in my studio. And of course, number one, it's always safety. I want to make sure that the baby's safe the whole time and I want to make sure that the siblings are safe. So I use my posing bag when I'm doing this and I like to make sure that the babies are nice and wrapped firmly and securely so that when the toddlers are holding them, that there's, you know, you know, no little arms and legs flying around. It's easier for the siblings to hold them. And they're on a, on a nice firm bag with their parents close by. So we're gonna go ahead and set up. And we've got some beautiful little families here with us this morning. Um, they're so cute. We've got little Elijah, our little baby boy, and, um, and his sister Scarlett, who is three. So she's all ready to go. So let's get them out here. Okay. Hi, are you ready for your photo now? Yeah? So another really important, come over here with me. This is my bean bag. Do you have a bean bag at home? Scarlett? I, you do. don't? I do. You do? Well, this is my big bean bag. Do you want to see how soft it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So sometimes it's a little scary for little ones to, to lay down, especially, you know, if they've got other things going on. And this is a fairly busy room. It's got lots of things for it to look at. So we're going to get it done really quickly so you can go and play. Yeah? Great stuff. <laughs> um, would you like to take your shirt off for me so I can put a special wrap around you? Yeah? Can we do that? Can I help you? Yeah? Okay, cool. Let's pick a wrap. I think this colour looks really pretty. Do you like this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And do you think Elijah will look good in this one? No. You don't like that colour? No. Oh, but My it's... Dad is the way yeah, can Elijah wear the brown one? Yeah, it's going to look great with the pink one. Okay, and guess what I've got down here? So I like to move pretty slow with toddlers because it's building that trust with them and Oh, that's a cute one. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Do you like that one or this one? Uh, I kind of like that one. Great stuff. Okay, let's go over here and get ready. So we're going to get her ready first, and then I'm going to wrap Elijah. But because I need Scarlett to... Um, you know, to listen to what I'm saying, it's really important that I don't, I mean, like, I'm at her level now because I'm going to dress her, but I'm not coming down to her level, I'm not speaking to her in a baby voice, and I'm not playing games with her because I need her to listen to what I'm saying because we need to make sure that little Elijah's safe the whole time. Can I hold this for a minute? Okay. Thank you. Okay, come over here, I hope you. Can you go, arms up? Great stuff. Where'd you go? Turn around. Come this way. Let's go. <laughs> Good job. Alrighty. Arms up. Okay, turn around. So we don't want to tie it with a really big knot at the back because when she lays down, that would be uncomfortable. So I'm just going to tie it fairly loosely. And then if it does come loose, she's going to be laying down. So, <laughs> so we can pull it back up. And I'm shooting from here up. It's all about the way we position the baby in her arms. So we get that beautiful connection between the two of them. Radio, guess what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to give it to your mum to put in your hair. Do you think she, she could do that while I wrap Elijah? Hi, baby boy. Look at all this hair. So it's really nice and warm in here. So we're going to unwrap him, but we're going to wrap him back up so he's going to go. He's going to stay warm. He's awake, but that's okay. He's nice and settled. So I'm going to put him in the centre of the wrap. 
and the way that I wrap him will depend always on which side the light is coming from. And I want to keep a hand out so that the hand comes up underneath the face and rests on Scarlett's chest. And so behind me is these beautiful big windows. I'm trying not to put my hands on him just yet because they haven't quite warmed up yet. I don't want him to get cold. Okay, big boy. So this little arm here, it's the one that I'm going to pull down. Because he's going to be facing this way, we need this arm out, left out. So I'll pull this arm down. He's got hold of my thumb there. I'm not pulling hard. I'm just holding on to his little hand. So we'll pull this side of the wrap across. You look beautiful. Would you be able to hand that to Mummy? Scarlett? Hi. Hey. Could you, could you pass that to Mummy? Thank you. So this hand's going to stay out. So he's just had a really big feed. I was just talking to them out in the, um, in the little baby's room. Oi. And he's deciding to um, go to the bathroom right about now. <laughs> it's what he's working on. Are you done? I no, little baby. No, he's not done. Okay. Would you be able to come over and stand next to my bag for me? And um, yeah, maybe just at the back there. That's great. Can you climb? Can you come around this way for me? Back around this way. And can you climb up here for me, and sit up on top of my bag? Can you climb up? So I want Scarlett's head up here and her bottom down here. So you can help, help me, and we'll keep this up, up nice and high. Okay, climb up. Jump climb up, up here. Put your bottom here. Good girl. Good girl. Can you lay down? Okay. Lay down. Bless you. Lay down right here. Put your head right here. I'm going to put Elijah in your no. arms for a cuddle. No. It's soft. Feel it. See? Feel how soft it is. It's like is a it big like teddy Timmy? bear. It's like Timmy. It looks like Timmy. Look. Like yeah, Timmy. look. Look underneath. Can you lay down and snuggle on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I would like to lay up there. Can you lay on your back? That looks comfy. There you go. Lay like that. Good girl. Okay. You want to hold Elijah like that? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is bring your little bottom over this way a little bit. Come over a little bit more for me. Good job. Okay. And you can use my special box to put your feet on. Well done. Okay. And now this arm here is going to be your strong arm. Radio. Right so we'll just pull your top up a little bit more. So I'm putting him down on his side. You are being such a good girl. <laughs> good patting. Can you pat down here? Well done. Just down here, not on his face. Radio. So he's pulled his little hand down underneath his wrap, just gently, sweetheart. We don't want to wake him up or scare him, do we? Okay, so I'm just grabbing his little hand and waiting for him to relax. There we go. Oh, well done. And this arm here has got to come across over here. Can you feel those hands? There you go. Okay, now, Mum, can you bring your hand in at the back here? Mm -hmm. Okay, this hand's got to hold this hand. Well done. So I'm just going to use a couple of cloth nappies down the bottom here just to give him a little bit of support here. He's going to sleep. He loves it there. Good job, Scarlett. 
you're doing a really good job. And I'm going to use another cloth nappy just underneath this fur and underneath Scarlett's little arm just to give that a little bit of support so she can um, keep her arm up nice and strong. <laughs> he starts to root on her. And he starts <laughs> looking for food and his sister. So I will always try and settle them first before I pick them up. Because if I'm continually picking a baby up and putting it down, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make them more unsettled. I'm going to overstimulate them. Stay right where you are, sweetheart. Good job. Guess, guess, guess what? His eyes are closed. So how many kids do you have? Five. Five kids. How incredible is that? <laughs> You are amazing. <laughs> I love how unpredictable kids are. Okay, you've got to stay really, really still for me. And guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to give you a pillow. No, stay there. Good girl. There we go. So just by bringing her head up a little bit, brings her chin forward, which means I'm starting to get this connection between both of them here. And fix your hair. You look like a princess. Turn it down. Hey. Do you want to hold on to this hand over here? Mm -hmm. This one? Mm -hmm. You want to hold that? Mm -hmm. Can you hold not that? We'll leave that there. Hold Where's your hand. other hand? There you go. Great. Okay, my camera is all the way over there. Can I get someone to pass me my camera? Normally I would have it on the floor right here. Good job. She wants to play with the little tassel on his dummy. <laughs> so we're just going to turn his face up towards the ceiling because if I take a photo now, I get a great photo of Scarlett's face looking up, but his little face is, is looking off towards that light, which is where we kind of want it to be, but I do want to see more of his face. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Hey. Now I'm going to grab his little hand from under here. So I'm not going to lift his head this way. I'm actually going to turn his nose towards the ceiling, which is a more natural angle. There we go. Stay there, sweetheart. We're nearly ready to take a photo. You're doing such an incredible job. He's heavy, though, isn't he? No, I don't do it. Oh, what's wrong? Want him to look at the ceiling. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, listen, have a look. He's looking out here at the window. Do you know what he's looking at? Mm -hmm. He's looking to see if there's any birds. You have a look out the window for a minute and see if you can see any birds. Oh, no, he's not going to go up there. The he's not going up there. Well, let me push the box in for your feet. Can you feel that box? There you go. So, my camera strap. It's always going to go over my neck when I'm shooting above a baby any, any, in any, any way. Okay, bring your head over here. We're going to take a quick photo. I'm going to leave his dummy in for a minute just while I get a test shot. So I make sure I get this exposure right. And he's just drifting off to sleep. So my ISO is probably going to be at about 640 in here just by going off the light at the moment. And I'm going to shoot it at around 3.2, 3, make sure I'm going to come up to 3.5. And I'm going a third of a stop over. Boo. Yeah, that exposure looks pretty good. Are you, are you ready now for a proper photo? Can we take his dummy out, do you think? Or his, what do you call them, pacifiers? Thank you, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. okay, are you ready? Where's your big smiles? Where's your beautiful, oh, that is the best smile. Well done. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Hold on to this hand. He's going off to sleep. Hang on. Shh. Oh, he likes 
his binky. Shh. Can you go like this? Shh. That's it. Good girl. He likes that sound. Can you make that sound to him? Shh. You do it down here on his head. Gently. That's a that's a girl. He likes that. You are being such a good girl. Most kids would not lay here this long. So she is doing an incredible job. And you know, when you're in a session, you're moving quite quickly. So I would, I would kind of, you know, take my time at the beginning to really make sure that the baby was nice and settled and comfortable. Okay, let's fix his little hand again, make sure we can see his face. Oh, good boy. Your hands go. Oh, where's your fingers? Okay, so I'm, what I'm going to get you to do in a minute is on the count of three, when I'm ready to take this photo, when I've take got it. that beautiful big smile. That is the best smile. Let's bring your head this way just a little bit. Oh, good girl. And your hand up higher. There's your hands. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Where's that smile? Go! Good smile! Where's that big smile? Oh, you've got a better smile. <laughs> and we have a great one of him looking for his dummy. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Well done. Are you finished? Mm -hmm. Can I take one more? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Back well done. Back. So his eyes weren't completely closed and she was looking down and up and down and up, but that's fine. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cute. Is that you? That's you. Look how beautiful you look. Let me fix your hair a little bit. I always spend more time on sibling photos and family photos because for me as a photographer and a parent, having my own children captured and having those family photos, they mean so much more than anything else. And if you can capture a beautiful photo of their children together, oh gosh, that photo is going to last forever and ever and ever. Okay, close your eyes, little boy. Good job, good job. You have the most amazing eyelashes. How lucky are you? Okay, can you do this? Can you lean your head there? That's beautiful. Can I get another beautiful smile? One more, yeah? Well done, are you ready? One, two, three. Where's that smile? <laughs> and a little one, a little smile. A little smile. Do a little smile. Put your head down here. Well done. And up here at me. Good job. They are beautiful. Rightio, so let's pick him up here. Oh. Oh, he's so heavy, isn't he? You are so strong. Can I grab that yep. again? Thank you. Come here. So Scarlett, thank you. Thank you for being such a great big sister. Did you have fun? No, I um, I already did. You did? I already did. Good job, good job. Yeah, so I would not push that anymore. And and if if there was a situation where they just decided that they'd had enough and they were ready to go, get up, run away, whatever. It means that the baby is on a, on a surface. So if they pull their arm out and they're like, yep, no, I'm done, we can just quickly help them roll away and the baby's safe the whole time. 
So putting a little one like this on a, on a floor and expecting them to kind of sit up and hold a baby, it's not going to happen because they're so unpredictable with what they're doing. They can, you know, just decide at any point to push that baby away and be gone, be done. <laughs> but doing these setups at the beginning of a session means that you've got their attention and everything's new. If we let her go for about an hour in here, she would own this place. And they're all going to have completely different personalities. You'll have no. some that are really shy and reserved that won't want to be a part of that Why photo. And then some that are just, um, yeah, personality plus. They're running around and having a great old time. But if she decided that she didn't want to be in the photos, then that's when I would introduce a prop. And I would um, either, Depending on their personality, I would either photograph them together using a prop with a parent close by and have them sit next to it, or I would take a photo of the baby in the prop, supported, spotted, and then I would bring in the toddler and get a separate photo and put those two together, which is something that, um, yeah, I actually do quite often. But now the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. toddler or the other family is ready whenever you... Oh, them. wonderful, wonderful. We've got another baby coming in, and we're going, to, um, we're going to photograph them in a very similar way up on the bag, but just to show you the different personalities that we're going to get and working with the different kids. And it's always, you know, less is always more. Keeping it really, really simple, making about the connection that they've got, and, um, and, and supporting them the whole time and having a parent close by is really important. Isn't he just divine? I don't want to give him back. He's just gorgeous. Radio. Thank you very, very Thank much. You. Thank you, Scarlett. Can you want your wrap? Oh, you can give it to the ladies. Okay. Radio. Okay. So can we? Um, so really, really similar. Being able to catch the different, um, the different moments and the different little personalities that come through and creating a storyboard for your parents is, is something that they will absolutely love. So I never created this um, set of images to do as one whole image. I just thought they were, you know, I couldn't choose the two best ones, so I gave them all four. And then we ended up creating a beautiful storyboard using all four images, and it's, um, it's a massive canvas in their house, so they... You know, they just love it because that's their little girl and, and she just adored the, her baby sister. So, yeah. And then um, posing um, siblings with their parents as well. So, always picking up the toddler and having them in that, in that space together. But we have another family coming in. So, I'll pull some of these blankets, these cloth nappies back out and we'll start from scratch, which is what I always do anyway. or so till they're just finishing feeding. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Should we do any questions then? Absolutely. Two ladies, if you have any questions, um, grab a mic, please. In doing sibling photos with the newborns, I've found a lot of times that, especially that age that we just had, the kind of three to five, they are really uncomfortable laying on their backs like they're okay sitting but then once you try to transition them to their backs they're like no 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 and start mm -hmm. to squirm do you have any suggestions with a kid that is that way feeling a little uncomfortable with laying down on their back and being that it's a vulnerable position for them yeah it is definitely laying down and so many kids associate laying down with going to bed and no kid really ever wants to go to bed <laughs> so by making it about my bean bag and not laying down so I never actually said, come and lay down on my bean bag. It was more about um, telling her to jump up on my bag, come and touch my bag, getting them familiar with that space, and then telling the parent where I wanted them to be. Um, because if the parent is giving them that instruction to lay down, then that's, you know, that's coming from a secure place. And me being a stranger, if I say, okay, I want you to lay down, they're like, no, I only lay down when I go to bed. <laughs> so, Making it more comfortable and taking the emphasis off that definitely by focusing on, you know, the blankets and things like that. But you're so right. So many kids 
don't like to do it and that's where I would probably bring in the prop and things like that. But I find that, um, you know, associating it with a bit of a, um, with a bit of fun, like the blanket and feeling the, the texture and things like that. But then you'll have kids that don't like the feeling of different textures either. They're like, no, I don't want to touch that. So yeah, but um, getting the parents before the session, like when, they, uh, when you are communicating before they actually come in and they've already told you that they've got a sibling, talking to them about preparing their child is really important as well. And just saying to them before they come to the session, you know, we're going to meet Kelly, the photographer, I tell them to use my name, because, I mean, then they can associate, when I say, look, uh, you know, looking up here at Kelly, they already know it, so that's great. And, um, and just telling them that they're going to have their photo taken so that they don't turn up on the day and they're like, why am I here? What am I doing? Why is this six foot tall, scary looking lady with a big black camera <laughs> trying to get me to lay down? <laughs> so making it fun and keeping that control as well. I am their friend um, when I meet them, but I'm still, I'm not sort of getting down in that playful role. I'm keeping that kind of school teacher type of um, relationship with them until I've got that shot. As soon as I've got the shot, they can have whatever toys I've got, or they can have their bribery tools, all of those sorts of things. But in the, the prep guide um, that you know my clients get, or just an email if they've got specific questions, I always tell them to bring you know, their children's favorite toys and all of those sort of things as well. Yeah. Kelly, can you talk a little bit about that prep guide, perhaps? Because is that uh, part of the bonus materials that people will get when they do purchase the class? Maybe a little bit about how that works. Yeah, definitely. Um, so giving your clients as much preparation as possible is, is always key. You don't want somebody turning up to a studio shoot or you know you turning up to their house to do an in-session home, um, home shoot without being pre-warned about what's going to be happening. You need them to know, like for when they come to my, my studio, they need to know it's gonna be warm in there. They need to know what the studio is going to look like. They need to know what to bring, um, all of those things. So yeah, like Kenna said, we've included um, what I send out to my clients as a bit of a guide to, sh to sort of help people along with, with all of that stuff, because I remember when I first started shooting and I was packing everything I owned into the back of my car and driving there, I'd turn up and the look on their faces would be like, oh, you've got a bean bag. <laughs> and they didn't know what that was for. So, and that's, that's, that's a huge thing. Like, obviously that, um, that family has quite a lot of kids. I don't know if they've had them photographed before by a newborn photographer. But if you've got a couple turning up with their very first baby, and they've seen the photos on your website or in your pricing guide or in your blog or on social media, they don't know how those photos are created. They don't know that they're laying on a bean bag, all of those things. So giving them as much information as possible and getting them mentally prepared for what's about to happen um, is gonna work in your favor all the time. Um, the one thing I don't ever do is give my parents advice um, on you know, times that they should be feeding their baby or you know, keeping their baby awake for so many hours prior to a session, things like that. I am not qualified to give people advice on how they should be parenting or what they should be doing. Um, and that's, that's entirely up to them. They're hiring me to take photos of their, of their children or of their baby. So, yeah, being able to just give them as much warning about what the, the session entails, step by step, you know, when you arrive, this is what's, you know, there's a space for you to feed your baby, um, what you should bring, clothing that you should wear, all of those. I can advise on that. But when it comes to, you know, telling them what to eat, telling them they must use a dummy, telling them to keep their baby awake, all of those things, they're sort of things that I don't include in my guide because, like I said, I'm really not qualified to give that advice. Question here? Yes, I was wondering how many images with siblings do you show on an appointment for viewing and picking their pictures. Yeah. So um, because I normally show them 20 images. So how many of them would be with siblings? Okay. Depending on the clients, like if they came in and they said, you know, we want as many photos of them together as possible, then I would shoot more than I normally would. But that specific setup, I'd probably give them two images from that. Um, she was really focused on, on me and smiling and, and holding the baby and things like that. And we were kind of losing her because he was a little bit awake. 
and she was there for quite a period of time. But if the baby was asleep and I laid them down, then I would definitely get one of them looking at the camera and then one of them perhaps cuddling or kissing their baby um, sibling. So in the previous image, you know, we had like a real range of images, which is really great. But yeah, if they've got like personality and they're doing lots of different things, I would just capture, capture, capture. But on average, it's, it's probably only two images. But listening to them and what they want, if they're telling me in an email that they want lots of photos, then you know that I'm really going to focus on that. <clears throat> So when you have siblings coming, and especially if they're really young, like toddlers, do you start with those photos and then once you're done, the dad leaves with the toddler or something, or do they hang out until you're finished with the entire session? Yeah, good question. Like, um, and I should have mentioned that included in that posing, I mean, sorry, in that prep guide for my clients, I tell them to um, not only bring some of their favorite toys, but perhaps bring like some comfortable walking shoes because I've got a park near my house that they can walk to. So I kind of plant that seed so that once the photos of the, their older siblings have been done, then they can either go for a walk or they can then sit. I don't tell them to leave, but I'm planting that seed to sort of say, well, you know, the rest of the session is going to take some time. You either have the option to go off and do something or come back. But a lot of times, um, especially if they've got more than, like, two older siblings, they, they bring in two cars. They've been there, done that. They know that it's going to get crazy in there. So, yeah. So we've got um, two little boys. I'm just going to take my cardigan off because it's getting warm with that on. So it's about 28 degrees Celsius, which is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit in here. So it's lovely and warm. Hi, guys. Oh, look at this baby. And all this hair. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So has he just had a little feed? Mm -hmm. Yeah? He did. And he's got his tummy. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? So, how old is this little guy? He'll be two on the 29th. <laughs> so we've done a three-year-old and now we're going to do a little guy who's not even two yet. So his level of, what, of understanding of what I'm about to to, t to say to him is going to be very different. So Scarlett we could communicate with. She could listen to what I was saying. <laughs> but <laughs> can I sit there? Here, let her sit there. Here, Tony, I'll come over here. Good job. <laughs> hey. So he is wide awake sucking on this dummy, but he's pretty happy. Now he's got a little shirt on. Is it okay if we take that off? Will he, will he be comfortable taking his shirt off? Oh, don't scratch your face. Here, bring your little hand down here. Oh, good job. Shh. Yeah, is that all right if he takes his shirt off? Do you want to take your shirt off? I know, he, I, like, he wants to go over there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so. Take your shirt off first. Yeah, let's take this off first, SD. So I like to photograph them with their skin. I want it to be as natural as possible. Because, I don't know about you, but through history, you know, I've noticed a big change in fashion. So when parents <laughs> look at these photos in, you know, 20 years, I'm not saying his shirt's going to go out of fashion, but some people often turn up with their children dressed in bright clothes and all of that. Even though I've pre-worn them in my prep guide and I've sort of said, you know, wear neutral coloured clothing because it photographs, you know, beautifully. And um, I'm just, he's scratching his little face here. He's so strong. Hey. <laughs> and, um, but seeing their skin, like especially on this beautiful brown, and when I'm going to keep it brown, because um, they're, they're all boys, three boys, and I like these really earthy, natural tones. There you go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> eyes. Oh, my eyes. You've got eyes too. You've got beautiful eyes. He's a character. And for something a little, I'm going to go a bit lighter here because he's got such beautiful dark hair. So I'm just going to let him do his thing over here. <laughs> Sit down. And I always start with my beanbag fresh whenever I'm doing a new setup. 
without any cloth nappies or anything in there and then I kind of just slot them in where I need them. He does not want to let go of this blanket. He's like, <laughs> come on, I know it's soft. Actually, I've taken my cardigan off and I can feel a coolness in the air. So I'm not really prepared to take the, the blanket off without some form of, um, you know, heat and warmth coming through. Just because I don't want him to wake up because he's just drifting off into that sleep. And if I go yanking his blanket off, he's going to, um, to be really aware of what I'm doing. So I want him to stay. You can see he's starting to relax. He's got his eyes closed. He's very familiar with the sound of his brother. <laughs> but what we might do is that I've got a space heater on over here. I'm just gonna jump up while he's going off to sleep and I'll turn it on. And this would be just to add a little bit of warmth into that space. Whenever you put a baby down into a cold, um, onto a cold surface or anything like that, we'll turn it off and I can start to feel that warmth coming in this direction. Did you steal my seat? Did you steal my seat? You stole my chair. Be careful, please. Thank you. All right. You have to be so careful not to overheat the, the babies, but also, you know, making sure that the, the other children and the other family members are not uncomfortable with it being too warm. So we just want to fill this area here with a little bit of warmth and then we'll turn it off. When you're working with like a, an air, air conditioner that you set to a temperature, when it does heat up, the room heats up, it will start to blow cold air, I've noticed in, in my studio at home. So I don't want any cold air blowing directly on them. Oh, he's beautiful. <coughs> oh, darling, you were comfortable there. Yeah. Can you go shh? Yeah, I. <laughs> he loves eyes. <laughs> so cute. So I'm just keeping my hands on his little arms because I don't want him to get that startle because he's not asleep. He's got his eyes closed, but he's He's really sucking hard on his um, tummy. There we go. Look at these little feet. So when you're, when you're holding on to them and you're wrapping them with any pose, you can feel all of their little muscles and, and, and arms and legs moving in your hands so you know when to let go, when to take that pressure off. So I'm holding his little arm down again, exactly the same way I would before. And I'm gonna wrap him a little bit um, more securely than I did with our previous baby, only because um, his brother is so much younger and, and a little bit more unpredictable and he's got lots of energy. So we want to make sure that this is, you know, going to be as safe as possible for both of them and easy for him to hold his, um, his brother. So I'm just going to pull it down at the back here. Where's he gone? Oh, he's under the stairs. 
So I'm going to pull that above the knee joint, if you can see, and down. He loves having his hands by his face. And then this one's going to be gathered and come across this hand to stop it from coming up. And the reason... Is he scared? Oh, it's okay, come here. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay, sweetheart. We don't have to use that camera, do we? I don't want him to be scared. Come over here. Yeah, come here. It's okay. It's not going to come down here. Oh, come here. It's okay. We won't make him. And that's like, you know, whenever they go into a new environment, if there's something in there that's scaring them, you know, it's probably best to remove it. We can't really remove a camera. Um, but we, we would never force them to do something that they're uncomfortable with because it'll just end in tears. And it's always better to be safe than sorry. But, you know, keep them happy. A child's happiness is always a parent's happiness, right? If their child is, is really unsettled and things like that, it's going to make the parents feel a little bit um, anxious as well. Hi. It's all right. It's not going to hurt you. It's okay. Yeah. Do you know what I might actually do? Is I could, I could possibly um, walk towards it and show him that it's okay. So making them feel safe is really, really important. So I'm not gonna tie it like in a knot or anything, but I'm just gonna loop that over once. His little hand is there so he's nice and safe, but he's happy now that he's, he's wrapped nice and firm. Yeah, give him a cuddle. Okay. Look. Yeah. Yeah, look. It's a camera. Do you want to come and have a look at the camera? It's all right. It's okay. It's not going to hurt you. Would you, like to, would you like to come and have a look at the camera? You come and show him that it's okay. Because big brothers are the best. Look, can you see inside there? Yeah, yeah there's nothing in there. Say hi. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, would you like to come and have a look? He's all right. It's okay. That's okay. We won't make him. So in this instance, we're going to try and get him towards the bag and away from the camera. But if he doesn't want to, this is when, you know, you would you'd use another option, like doing a composite image or something like that. Okay. All right, would you like to come and have a, come and have a lay down on my bean bag? No? No, he's really freaking out. It's, all right. it's okay, you can stay there. Look, look, look. I don't think he's going to do it. That's okay. Oh, go and give him a cuddle. That makes me sad. <laughs> you are such a good brother. So we're, gonna, we're actually going to photograph um, newborns with older siblings in a little while. We just wanted to really focus on photographing them with younger siblings and working with them. But there's really not much I can do about that camera at the moment. So he, I don't think he's going to come in and lay down and, and really trust me. And he's still drifting off to sleep here, which is going to give us a good, good opportunity to let him go into a nice deep sleep while we set up for the next segment. Um, I would try and lay them down on the ground with a couple of you know, large sort of blankets to get a, a combined shot. But because he's just a little bit scared, I'm not even going to try and make him lay down, like you said, in that vulnerable position. And once we've taken a photograph of um, his older brother together with, the, with his baby, we can bring him in and he might sit down next to them and to get a, a, couple, like a couple of shots of them together. 
radio. So let's bring this backdrop out. I'm just moving quite slowly here because his arms are so strong. You should feel his little muscles. You can probably see his little shoulders there. He's so strong. And he's still kind of moving around like this. So I'm just going to give him back to mum very slowly and gently to keep him nice and sleepy. <laughs> 